subscribe and hit the bell icon and never miss another video. and I'm on the Good Creator course Tabu Ratnani Calendar 2022 curated by Miss Malini. I'm super excited. Super pumped. I think it was content creation that actually inspired me before fashion did. I love the idea of being able to share an opinion, have a perspective, uh, you know, have a view and be able to share that with anyone in the entire world. And they could be sitting at home or anywhere in the world, literally, or at a beach or in their bed. And they could be watching my content, interacting with me, looking at my, my view, my perspective, my opinion, and be able to interact with it, engage with it. I mean, that concept was like, oh my God, this is like groundbreaking. I think content creation is a very unique, very, um, it, it's a journey where you discover yourself along with your audience. And it's, it's fun, uh, you know, and it, it needs to be honest with your audience while you're doing it. It was super nerve wracking. Uh, but it was amazing. It was it was incredible for so many reasons, right? First, to sort of be a creator and walk the red carpet, I can. It, it it's it was it's a breakthrough for our industry uh, to be walking alongside with other creators. You know, it really shows you where the creator industry is going and moving, and um, it's so inspiring. It it shows you that you're in an industry that you've almost seen since day zero, that you've been a part of building, and. Look at where it is. It's it's on a global scale. It was also, it was so humbling to be able to represent your country um, when there's such few of us over there. So yeah. One hundred percent no. I think uh, life has given me a lot of surprises, but I I still do feel like there was a little. I always had that that inner voice. I always yeah. had that ambition that you know what, I'm going to make something of myself. I would tell her to do exactly what she did then. You know, I think I wouldn't tell her to do anything differently because I truly believe that it's those moments of self-doubt and, you know, not being able to believe in yourself, not having a path, uh, you know, that confusion that am I doing the right thing? Am I ever going to be able to make something of myself? Uh, you know, what path should I choose? I'd say live all of that. Like living all those moments of confusion and self-doubt and distraction and just, you know, that, that disbelief. Yeah. It's so important to be able to carry yourself to where you really need to be. A disruptor. Not all-time favorite, but right now I'm obsessed with Bijli. None, literally. I actually don't like cake. But if I had to choose one, I think like orange and chocolate. Um, I'm most afraid of failing. We ever thing I've ever eaten. Potato on pizza. Um, French. Thank you. A tigress. So, so I lost my grandfather this year in 2021, and it was, it was a really, really, uh, you know, it was a terrifying experience. But it really took. So, so my granddad is actually. The, one of the first people who really supported my dream of creating content, of building a creative business that had no sort of foundation, no backing. He's the one who bought me my camera, 
uh, when I first started blogging 11 years ago, right? And at that time it was blogging, it wasn't even Instagram or anything. And I just went up to him and I said, you know, Dadu, I used to call him Dadu and I said, I have this idea and I need a camera. Uh, you know, Dadu, I need a camera to make this happen because at that time there was, we used to use those really, no, 11 years ago, the Nokia phones, right? Like the camera was there, but it was just super hazy. You can barely click photos and you definitely can't upload that image quality on a website, on a blog. So I said, Dadu, I really need a camera, yeah? And I'm telling you I'm on to something. Like this is going to be amazing. Like I'm going to build something out of it. And without the blink of an eye, he believed in me. You know, he said, he said, yes. He said, we literally left home. From the time I asked him, he said, let's go right now. I'm going to take you to Dadar. We're going to go to the photography, the camera market yeah. in Dadar. And we're going to buy you a camera. But he said, I'm going to buy you the cheapest camera that's there. I said, okay, done. As long as it's a camera and as long as I can upload photos, uh, let's do it. And I think, this year really reminded me of that belief that he had in me and I hope that I can be that for someone else. I hope I can be that sense of belief for my audience, right? To, to follow that dream, to follow that passion, to do that, you know, to take up that, to take up that little, that little voice inside you and do that, follow that hobby or start that business that, you know, nobody else can understand, but, but you somehow do. Oh my God, I have. Oh my God. This should not be on the internet, but yes, I have. My dad actually always eats pineapple on his pizza. I have. Oh my God. I have. I have. Of course I have. I have. No, cannot survive without sleep. Yes. Of course! <laughs> I have. I think this was something that I discovered only midway through my career and it really, really helped me. And it was to not look outside for inspiration, but actually look within. So, to not reference others, but to actually look within and look at what you have that you can offer to the world, right? And that could be whether you're an aspiring creator or a designer or running a small business. What is it that's uniquely you? What is your unique talent that you want to offer to the world?